Hey everybody, Doug Rucker here with uh, DougRuckerSchool.com and DougRuckerStore.com. Hey, I've got a Kingslinger skid that we're getting ready to ship out today. Uh, I've built a few of these in the past, but I wanted to go over the Uniseal connections because I've had a lot of questions about those and just maybe a couple other things. So we're done with the Atlanta trip. I'm back, ready to make you guys some more videos to help you guys learn. So. Stay tuned for that coming up next. Okay guys, so like I was saying, this is a Kingslinger skid that we're getting ready to uh, ship out today. And I just wanted to go over with you because I've had some questions about uh, a couple things. One is bulkheads fittings especially on a soft wash uh, setup or dedicated pump setup like this um, on the Kingslinger skid for our hoses that are drawing um, chemical out this is actually uh, a bleach fill kit but we still use the uniseals for these and back here we have one for the water tank and then over here is one for uh, the bleach tank and so you can see right here that's a uniseal and that's half inch clear braid hose and then here on the water tank or bleach tank whichever one they make it um, is another uniseal and so you could use these bulkhead fittings like this which a lot of guys do this is actually the water fill coming in from the garden hose so we use bulkheads for that um, <clears throat> but what happens is guys will use these bulkhead fittings and they'll actually uh, take a drop tube like a PV stick or usually it's that gray PVC that has threads on it and you can actually thread it right into the bulkhead on the underside and the pipe go all the way down to the bottom of the tank and it would draw the solution up through that. And I've used these before years ago, but one of the biggest problems with that is from vibration, vibration and driving down the road, bumps, all that kind of stuff, there's vibration here. And so those uh, drop sticks, drop tubes are actually kind of swaying a little bit down in, uh, inside the tanks, especially if you know, you're low on bleach or low on water or whatever, and there, you don't have any fluid in there to kind of keep it from swaying um, as much. So they'll come loose underneath the bulkheads. These bulkhead fittings can crack, especially on the underside, and that prevents and uh, that causes, not prevents, but that causes an air leak. Um, and so your system will start sucking in air and it'll cause your gun to start spitting. So when it's coming out of your nozzle, it'll kind of like pss, 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 depending on the size of the air leak. Um, so that's why we use uniseals on any of our dedicated pump systems because if that ever happens and we have that uh, spitting sound, we know it's an air leak. So we also know that because we're using uniseals, we don't have any connections here and we know the air leak is not going to be at the tank so we don't have to stop and undo the lid go underneath try to tighten take the bulkhead apart check it because like i said sometimes they'll crack and that can cause the air leak itself so i strongly encourage everybody that has tanks that you're drawing water and you're drawing bleach from another tank um, some guys will have a separate soap tank. I don't do it that way. But to use these uniseals, they're very inexpensive. They have a tight seal. They're not going anywhere. I mean, you can pull on it. It's hard to pull it up. Um, you're not going to get any leaks out of it, okay? In the bleach tank, yes, over time, it's going to corrode a little bit. But I've had them last for over a year before I've had to replace them. And... Uh, we have a lot of bleach in our tanks. So um, much easier just to buy another one. They're only a few bucks and you can just pop it right back in the same hole. And predominantly the size unit seals that we sell are half inch 
and three quarter inch for the dedicated pump systems. So um, we have a king slinger that you can get in half inch or three quarter inch. I prefer the half inch. I don't need all the volume I actually have on my, uh, let me take this over here. I actually have on my skid here, the three quarter inch um, valves and three quarter inch hose. But I'm actually switching this back to the half inch. I've used this for a while just to see the comparison and you do get a little bit more uh, flow and a little bit more distance. But to me, it's just not worth it. I prefer the half inch because I don't like a lot of flow. That's why I don't like the gas powered machines. It's just, it's just way too much bleach people are spraying on surfaces. So you can see here, we've got the Uniseal here in three quarter. Um, coming off the big slinger uh, to the bleach and the water tank. Then we've got uh, half inch for fill um, and all of that. So you can see the uniseals. Over here for the Flow Pro, we have a half inch uniseal, but we have quarter inch hose. So what we do, let me get you a better picture, uh, is we take a little piece of half inch clear braid hose, it's about four inches or so, five inches, and we slip that through the half inch uniseal, and then we can run our quarter inch hose into our bleach tank as well as our water tank. And so the half, the quarter inch hose will just slide right through that little piece of half inch hose. So that's the main thing I want to talk to you about is the uniseals. Um, it, they just help prevent leaks. I had a guy call the other day and he was wanting to replace his 12 volt pump. I'm tired of this thing. All it does is give me problems. And so I kind of talked to him for a little bit and I said, you know, what's it doing? He explained about the spitting. He called it sputtering, but it's actually just kind of spitting. And so uh, I said, hey, look, it sounds like you got an air leak somewhere and you got to trace it down. Well, he found it. It was in a bulkhead. The bulkhead fitting was cracked. He replaced the bulkhead. Now it's running great. So he didn't have to replace his pump and that was good. Um, so strongly look into these uniseals. We have them on our site. You can buy just the uniseals by itself. Whether you're using the half inch or the three quarter, they're both the same hole size, which is one inch and a quarter. Or sometimes they're labeled on the hole saw 1.25. So inch and a quarter or 1.25. That's the hole saw size that you use for both uh, three quarter inch and half inch. So make sure it's that size because you don't want to do it too small. Um, then it's hard to drill it out bigger. Um, and you definitely don't want to make it too big. So look at the uniseals. We have them for plumbing kits uh, where you can get the hose with them uh, and a little PVC 90 or 45 or whatever to keep the hose weighted down. Inside the tank, you'll still need a little piece of PVC um, to run up the hose to keep it weighted down unless you're using one of those slotted filters which I don't like and don't use. So uh, I hope that helps you guys. If you have any questions about that, leave me a question down in the comments and uh, I'll be sure to answer you or email me at info at DougRuckerStore.com. Um, so hope that helps you guys and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Okay, guys, like I said before, we just got done with the Atlanta event. It was awesome. Met a lot of great people. Had a great time uh, with those guys on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So our next hands-on training here in Houston is July, I think it's 8th and 9th, um, just about a week or so away. So uh, if you're interested in that, get signed up at pressurewashingschool.com slash events. It'll be the first event that comes up. And then also don't forget about the online video school if you can't make it out to Houston. Uh, man, that'll drastically help you uh, cut your learning curve. You can do it right from the comfort of your home. There's tons of videos. I've had that thing for like 12 years. And so I'm constantly, constantly just putting new content on it. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions about the schools, just email me at pressurecleaningschool at gmail.com. Any questions about our store products, uh, info at dougruckerstore.com. Thank you all so much, and you all have a very, very blessed day. 
How do I clean gutters? These black stains are basically oxidation from the gutters. Um, you'll see this is a really bad one, but the product I use is my product called Wrap. It's called Rucker's All Purpose, and I diluted about 10, 10 or 12 to 1. Uh, spray it on. Sometimes we have to brush. Sometimes we don't have to brush. It just depends a lot of times on the on what what the makeup of the gutter is, but the wrap product is completely safe to use. It's, you don't have to worry about it damaging or spotting surfaces underneath it, um, but it'll take all of that gray stuff out and return these gutters back to uh, looking brand new.